Hi guys and welcome back to Disney Elves. I want to show you guys my soft toy collection. Well, and my collection in general obviously, but my soft toy collection is gonna have to be done in parts because, I mean, this is only kind of like maybe 70% of it on this shelf and this part is probably like 20% of it. It's crazy. So, um, today I'm gonna start by showing you my Disney horses soft toys. I have quite a few, so let's get into it. Number one, I actually have two of these is Bullseye. I have two because my auntie bought one, oh it's covered in my hair, <laughs> uh, my auntie bought one from a charity shop and if you have seen Toy Story, especially Toy Story 3, you will understand my obsession with not being able to get rid of or leave any cute <laughs> cuddly toys behind. So here they are. What's weird is one of them is actually darker than the other. I don't know if you can see it on on the screen very well, but one of them is definitely darker than the other. He's really actually like soft and plushy. There's the stamp. Suede um, saddle. I love him. I think he's such a well-made like kind of floppy version of Bullseye, which I think they, they do really well, Disney, of kind of making it um, something that's like kind of not really meant to be too soft. Um, soft and floppy. <laughs> How cool is that, that he's even got the classic Andy on his feet? I just think that's awesome. And look at his little face, he's such a smiler, I love it. So, there's <laughs> these two. We've been invaded. <laughs> this is um, Tangled Horses, so Rapunzel Tangled. The first of the Tangled lot is Maximus. This is the classic Maximus that came out when, when the film first came out got some lovely kind of like embroidery stuff. This is a kind of um, almost felty suede. I don't know how to explain that. Um, a little bit of like plastic there to make it sturdy. Beautiful little, you know, the classic tangled sun. A beautiful expression. So that's Maximus um, from Tangled. He has a stamp here. I cannot for the life of me get it to focus, but you can see his stamp there on his little hoof. I think they've done really well of like getting him to look like a horse by putting in these kind of bits. Um, yeah, so that's Maximus number one. However, they also brought out a second version of Maximus when they brought out the um, Tangled mini series on Disney Channel. Don't know if any of you guys have seen that. Not a mini series, it is a series. And they did like a film to go with it. So here is that version of Maximus. My one's face is, has always been a little bit squiff. I don't really know why, but he's cute anyway. And I love his little kind of embroidery of the sun. Got it again on the side. The saddle's kind of made in the same way with the kind of plastic outline to keep it like in place and cute. And then <laughs> he's got his little hair done. So yeah, there is the Tangled the Series version of Maximus. If any of you have seen Tangled the Series, you'll know that there is a girl horse who is introduced. I love her, Fidella. She is adorable. And here she is. So this is Fidella. I love her eyes. I think the blue of her eyes it's just adorable. Her hair's beautiful. The way that it's kind of like braided, like a posh kind of royal horse. She's got the same kind of saddle. Yeah, so she's got the same kind of um, plaited stuff. This fluff here around her hoofs is so cute. And once again, she's that really kind of sturdy, but really soft at the same time. It's great how Disney managed to get their horses to feel so soft <laughs> at the same time as sturdy and they sit so cute on a shelf. I actually have a Disney horse shelf dedicated to just horses. Next up is Merida's horse, Angus. You don't see a huge amount of Angus in the film, like he doesn't, you know, have much of like kind of personality like Maximus or someone does, but I still love him so much. I think he's one of the best horses and I think the way he's made is really true to the film because he's a lot sort of like fatter, like broader here, which I think is really cool. Here's a little close-up. So that's Angus, looking adorable. His little saddle's really cute, they got a little fluffy bit here. He's just really kind of true to the film and the time and just really, once again, really soft, sturdy, really cute. So that's Angus. Next up we have Philippe. He is Belle's horse. I absolutely love this soft toy. I was really kind of disappointed. The only thing I was disappointed with Beauty and the Beast, the live action, is that Philippe is white. Well, everyone knows Philippe is not white. Philippe is so beautiful. True to the film as well. I think they've done his face really well. Beautiful, sturdy, soft. He has a stamp on his back foot. 
he doesn't have opposable legs like most of them do but I think it's because he has a lot shorter legs so he can still stand pretty well whereas someone like um, Maximus needs that like they've got kind of like wire almost to keep them sturdy on a shelf whereas Philippe doesn't need that because his legs are quite stumpy because he has a, like a big chest <laughs> so that's Philippe now next is two versions, two different versions of the same horse. This horse is quite hard to find in either version um, because it is Khan from Mulan. The first version is almost, it looks kind of like an animator's version of, of Khan. He's very, he's meant to be like baby Khan, right? I think. He's very fat, <laughs> like huge. He's led down rather than stood up, which is kind of um, different to all the rest. So I keep him on a different shelf, but he is super soft, this version. I don't know if you can see how shiny his black fur is there but it's super soft he's kind of got he's a bit because he's kind of more vintage he's a bit like worse for wear here and there but still I think he's in pretty good condition considering how old he must be and he is official Disney because there's his tag yeah but I'd say he looks kind of like the animators versions that they do nowadays really cool really cute super colorful vintage beautiful so his second version is the classic stood up version. Once again, I think this must be vintage because I haven't seen it around. I found him on eBay. I don't think he's available in kind of any Disney store recently. He has the classic kind of like wired legs to keep him up. This one's a little bit broken from where he's old. He's vintage defo um, because he's got the old style tag and I think he's made really well. He's really true to the film, especially for a vintage Disney toy because some of the older ones look a bit odd but um, I think he's perfect I love how he's got all the stuff on him again I'm really kind of lucky to have both of these I'd say because they're vintage old hard to find and so adorable I love Khan in the film I think he's fab so they're perfect I think this one's definitely more true to character but I think this one's meant to be more of like an animators kind of version of him so I think they're both beautiful the last kind of horse situation I am going to show you is Someone who isn't actually a horse, it's more of a reindeer, but it's Sven, but in all his different versions that I have of him. The first one is the classic stood up version. I think this one is probably my favourite because he is so soft. He's got this beautiful pattern here, so true to the film. His eyes, I think they capture him really well. And his pattern his little cute little fluff of a tail <laughs> and he is also stamped on his foot I think he's a beautiful beautiful version of Sven they just they capture him so beautifully and he is extremely soft like almost a velvet kind of soft like ah so soft so cute adorable so that's version one of Sven the second version of Sven I have is actually quite hard to find nowadays it's a Christmas like kind of version I bought it around Christmas and it's him with a little snowflake <laughs> little baby Sven with a snowflake he um, has a stamp on his foot so you know if he's official um, he's got a little snowflake um, attached to his tongue he's, his eyes are adorable his little antlers his little tail and once again the classic pattern there you go how adorable and his little ears that is the kind of winter snowflake baby Sven the Christmas kind. Last but not least, I bought it because I was told by the Disney store that they weren't coming back into stock. So I went on Amazon and paid a ridiculous price for it. And then the next week it came back in stock for the normal price. So a bit gutting, but oh well, we have him. He's adorable. Little baby Sven um, with the official stamp on him there. Um, we cut the tags off sometimes, well we used to anyway. So that's why it's got a monkey tag. <laughs> so this is little baby Sven. His eyes are so cute. His little body, his little ruffle of fur here is adorable. Um, his little tail and his stamp. I think he's so cute. He's a great character in the film, so adorable. He's like the animated ones would be now, but in an actual like kind of small soft toy, almost a medium, but small. So I think he's adorable. I think out of the three versions for me, this fan is probably my favorite purely because he is so cool and soft and fluffy and luscious in the film as well. There are a few Disney horses that I don't own that I really want to own. Like they do a really hard to find rare Cinderella um, like carriage horse and stuff like that. 
so I still have some collecting to do. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that video of my Disney horse collection. Please give it a like if you liked it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. New videos will be posted every Friday at 6 p.m. So I actually have a schedule now, mm, fancy. I would love to know what your favorite versions of them are. So which Maximus you like best, which Khan you like best, which Sven you like best, and see if they're the same opinions as mine. Myself and my boyfriend Nikon do musical Disney stuff and other music over on a channel called Ellie and Nikon if you want to check that out. I will eventually get through my whole soft toy collection but it is going to have to be in parts because look at me. <laughs> that was just Disney horses and so I hope you enjoyed it.